Hello, Bart here, and this is a quick tutorial on my simple multiplayer Steam setup. And with this template, you can go ahead and install this first and use this as the basis for creating a game that has multiplayer. And you know, this is for Steam, and what I'll do is I've done nothing, everything is still just as I opened it. I come over here and click on Play Standalone Game and it'll take a couple seconds to load and it gives you an idea of how it actually looks and what's already ready for you to use inside the project to get started with. Now once it does come up you'll be brought to the actual main menu as you can see I don't know if it'll show up here or not in the video but it does show up access to the Steam community uh, it will display your username and your avatar from Steam as well Again, you do need to have Steam running. If it's not running, this will be a white blank canvas, and this will just say connect to Steam. If you want, you can go into, as you can see, very simple, very clean. Exit game does work. You go into single player, and even though this is not what you came here for, this is the example map that I've included with this. It is stripped down, and all I've done is I've recolored the UE4 mannequin. You can do whatever you want with the character hit escape, hit resume game if I want to, hit escape again, go back to the main menu. Multiplayer wise, if you want to find a game, click on find and then click on find lobby and it will search for any available games. There's not currently one available right now so it's not going to find one. But whenever you click on host, you can enter a server name All right, lovely. And I'll click on make. And it sends you right in. And now your friends can log in and they will become clients. They will actually be able to run around and play whatever you want to play. The maps you do is entirely up to you. The other modes you add is entirely up to you. I just want to get you started with a simple multiplayer that works off of Steam. And in this video I'll go over really quickly on how to maybe set up a background image or you could set up something back here or there's a lot of things you can do with this menu system but let's go ahead and hit exit game now what I normally do is I click here and the folder structure that I have set up this is a third person template however the player is going to be in the characters folder and the red man folder is going to contain the current skeletal mesh with the red the base logo and the uh, the body you can recolor these however you want um, in the player folder this is your actual replacement for the third person character so anytime you're you're doing anything with the character then you're going to cast to player underscore base now this is a really good way to go because if you want to start adding in other players that are similar. Um, really quickly what I can do here is we have the red man folder I'm gonna come back to our characters folder I'm gonna create one called green man and inside this we can actually take the base body we can take all three of these and shift you click on this one shift click here and then drag over to this folder and copy here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and click on this one hit F2 and let's change from red man to green man. We'll go into the base body and this is a normal texture or normal material from the UE4 character. So I'm going to click on the body color, come over to default value, and let's just make it a green color. Yeah, let's make it a little darker. That looks good for me. Now, one of the things I would recommend doing so that you get the other, um, the chest logo correct, is you can actually click here and copy this, or you can just click here with your left mouse button, drag it into this block, click OK, and you can either click 
apply and then save or you can just click on save once it finishes doing its thing here we can actually close this Come on. All right. Now I would like to go ahead and take this time to rename this, since it's no longer a base body. We want to call this green body, and then let's go ahead and rename base logo to green logo. Now you can change the UE4 logo to whatever color you want. It doesn't have to match, but we'll go into this and if you've never changed this before you have to click body color you click on the color here click on your color up here click OK save close and then we'll go into our skeletal mesh we'll change our texture to we don't want green logo interesting effect though uh, we want green body and then we want and you'll see the red chest logo if you want to keep it that way that's fine but Go back to green logo so everything matches. We'll click save. And now we have a second character if we ever decide we want to add a different way of spawning in so one player becomes red, one becomes green, or you can set up teams. But then what I'll do is in player base, I can actually right click, create child blueprint class, and we're going to call this green man underscore BP so we know that it's a blueprint for the green man we'll open it and we'll click on mesh we'll come over here to red man we're going to change this to green man SK and he already has a green body the animation stay the same because anything that's done in player base from now on will automatically affect the green man so for right now, if you want to, let's say you come into your maps folder, go to your lobby map, and this is your little plain simple map. Click on your world settings and select a game mode. You need to open this up. Your default pawn class, you can change this for right now over to Green Man. And for the sake of quick testing, we'll run us in the selected viewport. And there you go. We just changed over to a green guy so it's entirely up to you on how you want to do that I'm gonna actually put it back to player base for now and then we we'll just do a quick save all make sure everything is saved because anytime you're changing the game mode here it's going to affect the game mode override so that's gonna get you going with with that now if you want to make some changes to the way the menu looks we're going to go back to the main menu. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to add music. And I'm just kind of goofy that way. So what I'll do is with the main menu map loaded, I will actually come over here to Blueprints, click on the arrow, open level Blueprints. Now, it's got a destroy session in here so that whenever you leave from the game and come back to the main menu, no matter what, it's going to destroy the session and everything works so you can go about this a couple ways you can link it off of here as well but what I'm gonna do is drag this over a little bit and I'm gonna put in a sequence node so drag off from here and type in sequence to get it to show up here running the sequencer node is not necessary you can do this several uh, different ways but what I want to do is come off of then one and play sound at location. The location really isn't going to matter at this point. And I don't have a sound asset in here. So I'm going to go to my sound, my assets folder in the UI, click on audio, and let's go ahead and minimize this for a second. And I've already added a click sound in for the menu, but I'm going to go ahead and find where I have unknown song and this is from techno acts if you're not familiar with them absolutely awesome so find where my actual song is and anybody that's 
played any of my games know that I always add music in the lobby. Okay, now that we've got that there, again, I'm going to do a save all. I'm going to come back into this, and then I'm going to go ahead and select my song. Now, if you mouse over it, you'll get a pop-up that shows the duration. And this particular song is 97.933. So what I'm going to do is come right off this. I'm going to add a delay. And in that, since it was 97 point whatever, I'm actually just going to put a delay in of 98. That's going to mean that when the song actually ends, I'm actually going to loop it back to here. So now, whenever the song ends, it'll automatically start playing again in an endless loop. And by doing it in the map folder, I'm going to go ahead and compile and save. By doing it there, what it's going to do is keep it there. So when you actually go into your game level, it's not going to be playing anymore. So we'll come back in just to get a quick idea. Anytime you're playing this, what will happen is if you're playing like this, and the music might be a little bit loud, I'll show you how to adjust that really quickly. So if you run it just by doing play, it's not actually going to detect anything from Steam. The plugins won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and click Exit Game. I'm going to go back into the Open Level Blueprint. Come to the Play Sound at Location and click on the arrow here. And I'm actually going to come down to Volume Multiplier. And I'm going to change this to 0 0.25. And this is a, going to make it at a quarter volume. Compile, save, and close. So to be able to get the, the Steam information to show up, you're going to actually have to go into Standalone Game. But for right now, just to show that it's playing the music much quieter now. So it's not obtrusive. You can adjust it however you want. I usually use either 0.25 or 0 0.3, 0 0.4 sometimes. just depends on the song. Um, the widgets that power the main menu are going to be here. So if you decide you want to add in a new level. Let's go ahead and let's create a new level. We're going to make this VR default. I kind of like these. So now that we've got this, we can actually click on play. It's going to default back to the main menu because we haven't set the game mode yet. So once we've got our new map, the next thing we need to do is select on World Settings, Game Mode Override, and Third Person Game Mode. Now, whenever we hit Play, it will load us into the map. So that'll make that work. So let's go ahead and just save this map. And we'll hit Save All. See, our map is saved as Untitled. So we'll come in here to the Maps folder. And we're going to call this test map. Now, to get this map to actually show up, we're going to have to go into our widgets folder. We're going to have to go into the main menu folder. And then graph. And right here where it's in the make server button, you're going to want to come to the open level. And put in the name of the map. If you want as well, you can go to the single player, which is going to be over here. Single player button is going to do a load level as well. And we'll call that test map. Now, it will work just fine in the editor. However, once you go to package this for your friends to be able to join you, you're going to need to change one thing. We just added test map to this. And I'm actually going to go back to the main menu. And I'm going to go ahead and select Play and Stand Alone. And let's see if it works in the editor. As long as it works in the editor, the next step to actually get that map to, to replace the lobby map that we're using for the, the starter, we just have to add that into one other place. So you see Stand Alone or Steam Works, come to Single Player, Map Loads, Awesomeness. So I'm going to hit go back to the main menu and exit game so now that we're out of it to get that map to show up whenever you do a build for your your friends to play with 
come to edit project settings you're going to go do packaging and then scroll down now if you don't see it listed here underneath the packaging tab click this arrow to show advance and then scroll down and you're going to find here list of maps to include in a packaged build you can click this arrow to show them you're going to want to leave the main menu map and if you want to keep the lobby map for whatever reason go right ahead but since we created a new one called test map you need to click on the three dots open that up and you're going to need to go to the location of where your map is actually stored and for us it's in maps and test map so just click on that if you see the build data don't use that just use the name of the map dot u map click on open now this is going to work perfectly all you have to do is hit the X close that and if you want to do a test build and good enough for let your your friends get in there and play click on file package product come over to Windows 64 and go ahead and package it select a folder where you want it to go and for this case I'm gonna to go to my root here and we'll call this testing simple and then select folder it will package once it's done packaging you can actually close all this down and go in and test it now I'm not going to cover in this tutorial if you have any issues with packaging that's just a matter of you not having the plugins that you need or you're not having something set up correctly um, if there are any issues you can come to my discord channel and feel free to ask I will help you walk through your your issues so it takes just a few minutes because there's really nothing in this map and this whole project and that's for you to create your own content and that's the cool thing about it is once you create your map you can go in and make all kind of fun stuff you can add in different uh, variables like you could add in the ability to use firearms or melee weapons or whatever and so the packaging doesn't usually take very long once it's actually done we'll go to that folder and we'll actually run that application again the um, the discord channel I'll try to remember to link that in the uh, YouTube video description but it's uh, Beefalo Bart Gaming and just catch my attention there or send me a, a DM and I'll help you out however I can with getting through any bugs of making this work for your, your main project alright so packaging is complete I'm gonna come back over to my drive and I need to find testing simple go into what one of the things that bugs me and I have a lot of OCDs so I open that that folder up and you've got Windows no editor I don't like that so I'm gonna grab all the files here and right click drag drop it back into the testing simple and move it come back into the main folder and now I'm gonna delete the Windows no editor I, I just that just bugs me for some reason now just brand new game if you get that message pop up it's just because of Windows firewall it's a new program and depending on your security settings that may be a thing may not be a thing there we have our game up got our steam information everything's running full screen and I'm going to go ahead and click multiplayer host and there we are it loaded directly into our new map and everything is good to go alrighty I hope this was sufficient enough information to get you started with creating a game that you can use with Unreal Engine 4 and this simple multiplayer Steam setup. So we'll leave it here. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And I will try to remember to put a link for my Discord channel. Um, or you can just uh, send one directly to me through uh, Beefalo Bard is the name on Discord as well. Alright, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.